Independent media, especially on YouTube, has been under attack for a while. Now, while places like CNN and MSNBC have all the established money and power, channels like mine have to rely on small donors and what little ad revenue we get. Now, with all the money and power that CNN has, they are finally taking on the military industrial complex, big polluters, massive corporations that are suppressing wages. No, no, none of those things. They are actually taking on independent media. So yesterday they ran this piece. Exclusive, YouTube ran ads from hundreds of brands on extremist channels. Now this piece of hot garbage was written by Paul P. Murphy, Kaya Yuryev, and Gianluca Mezzofiore. Now, I'm going to get to the bigger implications of this story in a minute. But first, listen to how they open this piece. Ads from over 300 companies and organizations, including tech giants, major retailers, newspapers, and government agencies, ran on YouTube channels promoting white nationalists, Nazis, pedophilia, conspiracy theories, and North Korean propaganda, a CNN investigation has found. U.S. tax dollars may have gone to the channels too. Ads from five U.S. government agencies, such as the Department of Transportation and Centers for Disease Control, appeared on the channels. Now, I think it's amazing how this piece opens up. If you're not afraid of white nationalists, Nazis, and pedophilia, well, your tax dollars may also be going to these channels. <laughs> so, this is a tactic that's used to strike fear in readers and in corporations. Now, the reality is, when these corporations pull their ads from YouTube, it doesn't just affect these channels. It affects all of us. It affects independent media. And there's one example here in the piece that, that CNN uses. One of the companies, Under Armour, is pausing its advertising buy on the platform after CNN notified the company its ads appeared on a white nationalist YouTube channel called Wife with a Purpose. All right, so CNN calls up Under Armour with this one example of this channel that no one's heard of. Wife with a Purpose, that doesn't have many subscribers, views, or videos. They call up Under Armour and are like, hey, did you guys know that, that your ads are being placed on this channel that no one's heard of? But they promote white nationalism, so you should do something about it. And then Under Armour responds by pulling all their ads off YouTube. Now, CNN could have told them that, hey, maybe you should actually contact YouTube and figure out why your ads were on this one channel and how to prevent them from being on that channel in the future. But no, CNN has no interest in that. CNN benefits when these advertisers pull from YouTube because it ends up affecting independent journalism and channels like mine, channels like Humanist Report, like Kyle Kalinske, people that are actually trying to deliver you the truth. Now, they go on here, CNN does, to attempt to strike more fear in advertisers on YouTube. The incidents have raised questions about whether YouTube can adequately safeguard ads and brands' integrity or whether its automated systems mean that advertisers will always be at risk of such ad placements. YouTube's bottom line hasn't been hit, said Nicole Perrin, a senior analyst at eMarketer who covers advertising and marketing technology. If brands want to make sure this stops, the only way for that to happen is for them to stop spending on YouTube until it's fixed. So, look at the framing there. There are questions about whether YouTube can safeguard advertisers. What questions? You, you are the ones raising the questions. Were you calling up advertisers on TLC when they were airing the show Toddlers and Tiaras, a show that is essentially child abuse? Were you calling up advertisers then and getting them to pull their ads off their entire network? No. Now, another quote here. YouTube's bottom line hasn't been hit. Oh, YouTube's bottom line hasn't been hit. Well, my bottom line has been hit. And let me show you an example of that. So I covered a piece by Chris Hayes on Israel-Palestine because I was impressed with his coverage of the Gaza massacre. Now, in that segment, what I did was I played a video of him covering it, and then I discussed what he talked about. Now, when I posted that video, it was immediately demonetized and also age-restricted. Now, when I submitted it for review, the age restriction was taken off, but it was still demonetized. Now... Why would this be demonetized when this exact topic was discussed on MSNBC where ads are run? This is not like it was something that was, that's off limits to, to general advertisers. This 
is news. Talking about Israel-Palestine is simply news. But ads get pulled on that topic no matter what you're talking about. If, if that topic is covered, regardless of how you cover it, ads are pulled. And I wasn't the only person that experienced that. So Jimmy Dore also did a video on that, and his ad revenue was also pulled from that video. Now, this is completely irrational. How can a video on a topic like Israel-Palestine get blocked from advertising on YouTube when networks like CNN and MSNBC cover the news, which also covers issues like Israel-Palestine, and they run ads? So this from the article. Companies can set broad targets for ads based on demographics and user behavior. While they don't necessarily know where the commercials will end up, companies can blacklist certain channels and use a sensitive subject exclusion filter that is designed to stop ads from appearing on specific channels or content. A sensitive subject exclusion filter. Now, what are the actual details of that? Like what topics are off limits? We have no idea. YouTube doesn't tell us. So when we're planning videos like ones on Israel-Palestine, we have no idea whether that video is gonna be demonetized or not. Now we can make some guesses. So the issue of Israel-Palestine, I guess, is one of those sensitive subjects that regardless of how it's covered, it gets demonetized, even though, you know, when the news covers it, when CNN, MSNBC covers it, they run ads, but we can't. So it's really unclear of what, to what topics are off limits and which ones are okay. Now, later on in this article, CNN does launch some fair criticism at a couple channels that are a, a pro-Nazi channel and a channel promoting decriminalizing pedophilia that somehow have ads on them. Now, that's fair criticism. But then they go on to, to then directly mention Jimmy Dore, as if the Jimmy Dore show has any comparison to a pro-Nazi channel or a channel that, that promotes decriminalizing pedophilia. So check this quote out. Ads also appeared on the Jimmy Dore Show channel, a far left YouTube channel that peddles conspiracy theories, such as the idea that Syrian chemical weapon attacks are hoaxes. Yeah, that far left YouTube channel that has the gall to ask for proof of a chemical attack when even the independence seven-time foreign reporter of the year winner robert fisk reported from the ground in syria also questioning whether that chemical attack even happened yeah that crazy jimmy Dore who reports on trump's stupidity and environmental disasters and how massive corporations are screwing you and how the media pushes endless wars yep what a crazy guy so at the end of this report, CNN asks a bunch of advertisers for comment, and this one from Hershey is telling. Given our current control systems, our ads should not have run in this program or any other program with political or news views, even if it is rooted in comedy. And herein lies the problem. Advertisers can decide to pull all their ads from political or news videos, meaning that channels that promote white nationalism or Nazis, or trying to decriminalize pedophilia, are put in the same category as my channel, where I'm simply trying to give a voice to the powerless and report on stories that don't get much coverage in mainstream press. How does that make any sense? Now, this is the main reason why a lot of independent media have Patreon pages, because we rely on small donors to exist. So if you want to give to mine, go to the rationalnational.com slash join, and in the description box below the video on YouTube, I'll also put a link to a bunch of other fantastic people in independent media that could also use your support. So if you can afford it, support us, because without you, we just wouldn't exist. Hey, if you like this video, hit that subscribe button below and consider throwing me a few bucks on Patreon at patreon.com slash therationalnational or therationalnational.com slash join.